If you'd like to learn more about the uh, rebuilding at that mission place in Bolaire, West Virginia, you can contact Pastor Gene Salisbury at Restoration Temple. The phone number there is 419-222-9362. Well, let's take a big, big, big step back into time. Okay, not that big. 50 years may feel like a lot to some of the younger people, but most of you at home know 50 years is just a small snippet in time. But in reality, 50 years is not a large amount of time for a radio station to be in existence and still going strong. But Lima, Ohio is home to that very thing. WTGN witnessing the good news went on the air in 1966. Here it is 50 years later. The good news has been spread throughout the region and station manager Scott Young is joining me today. Good 50 to years. <laughs> well, congratulations, well, first of all, thank on you. this landmark anniversary. Yeah, well, you know, what's interesting, Jennifer, is when they first talked about Christian radio for Lima, there were people that just thought that the area wasn't big enough to support Christian radio. Now here, 50 years later, we're still on the air. The people of Northwest Ohio, as you know here at WTLW, are just very generous people. Uh, they're committed to the gospel. They're committed to getting the message out. And some have, through the years, I know, have very sacrificially given. So we're, mm -hmm. we really praise the Lord for that. Absolutely. Well, you at home recognize that today in 2016, we have a lot of options for Christian radio. Um, we are blessed in this region. But WTGN was the first in the area, and it is still standing. Like you said, Scott, back in 1966, there was not only was there no Christian radio in Lima, there wasn't a lot of Christian radio programs. It was a different world back then. It was a groundbreaking time. It really was. Uh, for people that wanted to hear Christian radio or any form of it, there was a couple of, I think, half hour programs that were on one of the local stations once a week. That was it. And then if the weather conditions were just right and the <laughs> signal was getting out, you could listen to WEEC out of Springfield, Ohio at 100.7, but uh, Pastor Peter Corliss, who had actually been at WFCJ, which is down near Dayton in Miamisburg, the Lord called him up to Lima. And when he got here, knowing the impact of Christian radio down in the Dayton Springfield area, he said, we need to try to get this right here in, in Lima. And uh, so he talked to two businessmen, Art Arthur and Stanley Tam. Mm -hmm. And of course they were longtime businessmen and, mm -hmm. and made a great impact in Lima in a lot of different areas. But they got the vision from Peter Corliss and really worked hard and brought it together. And just one other interesting note. I know a little bit about this station, by the way. Well, you, you, Having you've been, been there. there. Yeah, I've been there 38 years. <laughs> but another thing from the mid-60s, FM. People didn't have FM uh. radios. Most people had an AM radio, and that was it in their car. As a matter of fact, when I came to the station in 78, I had to get what was called an FM converter put into my car <laughs> so I could listen to it. Because everybody had AM. And so that was one of the first things that they did. If you make a donation, we'll give you a radio so wow. you can actually listen to this station that's going to be coming on the air. They, uh, originally, they had targeted September 1st of 66 and ended up coming on September 27th. All right, all the young people who are watching this right <laughs> now, I want you to imagine that. No phones, no instant anything, not even an FM radio station. I mean, this is really, this is a risky move probably in some people's thinking well, to, to start this it's viewer unknown, supported right? TV or TV station, radio station. Right. And, and it's been, we've had a share -a every year. That's how we've operated. We, do, we still don't have commercials. We don't even really at this point do underwriting. It's just, here's the need. We present it to the people and they've been very good as far as supporting the station through the years. So we're, and we're committed to the gospel. I mean, yeah. that's, that's such a big part of who we are. And if people knew the history, Art Arthur, Stanley Tam, going out to the tower, laying their hands on the tower and praying for souls to come to Jesus. And their faith was that two souls a week would come to Jesus as long as WTGN was on the air. And we have some stories. We have some great <laughs> stories of people who have come to faith and, and some of which ultimately even had a great association with, with here at WTLW. Mm -hmm. and so. It, and then the other thing is the station's really committed to sharing, obviously, good Christian music and Bible teaching programs that the Christian believer can be fed. And as they grow in their walk with the Lord, then they're a part of that process to go out and to share the gospel. It's kind of like, I planted, Paulus watered, God gave the increase. So we're glad to be a part of it, obviously. I love <laughs> the fact that here we are 50 years later and the gospel stays solid. Amen. The message has not been watered down or changed. The mission still exists. Um, not to be a seeker-friendly radio station, but to be a truth-teller. 
you know, to bring people to Jesus Christ. What a blessing. We'll talk a little bit more about the history in a moment, but you have a big anniversary event That's right. coming <laughs> up in just a few weeks. Um, I think the entire community needs to get together to celebrate September 30th. I, it would be great to have a lot of people to come. I'd love to see a lot of the pastors in the area and uh, people that have listened to WTG and people that are familiar with Ken Davis. He's a funny guy. That's right. And, Ken Davis is the yeah, headliner. Yeah, and he just he just takes the, the truths of everyday life and can create a story, but he also weaves in a message of hope, the message of faith, and, and a Christian message towards the end, I think, that really impact people. And then musically, we have Ivan Parker, uh, who some people may not be quite as familiar just with. Just was but, at the fair. Yeah, just at the uh, Allen County Fair. Did a great job. I think <laughs> some people that heard him at the fair that night are going to come out now. And, and so we'll, we hope to have a great turnout for We're also going to have like a video presentation uh, of a hist the history of the station, which I think people are really going to enjoy. And everybody also gets a coffee cup. Oh, a what coffee cup. What a great cup. deal. So let's get together and let's just praise the Lord for his faithfulness. So September 30th is the date. Now September 27th is the actual anniversary. That's so right. just three days later, everybody gets to get together. Um, ticket prices are pretty low. Yes, we try to keep them down there. We didn't want that to be a factor. So and they're available through the Civic Center box office or online at LimaCivicCenter.com. Uh, Do you want to say about the video? One of the one of the people that's in it. I haven't seen it yet. We're still working on it. But is a person that was that first day. They were listening. They were at their grandmother's, and she had somehow she was one of the people that actually had an FM radio, and they were just kind of waiting for it to come on. And so they heard it that morning. Signed on a little bit after eight o'clock on September twenty seventh. Well, we're almost running out of time already, unfortunately, but let's do jump back back to history a little bit. Okay. You know, TV44 and WTGN have a long-standing connection because former station manager Ron Mile from WTGN came over to WTLW to start the station. You worked with Ron Mile? I did. I loved you did. Ron. And, yes. Uh, it was great to work with him. And I was, a, I was here, I came in 78. The station started, Ron left 1980, began the station 1981. And it was, it was, it was just great to know Ron. He had such a heart for ministry, and I know that's why he wanted to start a TV station like he did. And you all have been very faithful as well in, in witnessing the living word. So we're thankful mm -hmm. for what WTLW did. But Ron was a great guy. Basically, WTG has only had four managers. There was a couple of guys the first couple of months. Ron the came. first couple of months. Yeah, huh? yeah, he kind of went through some transitions early, and I know Ron was a little concerned about that. Hey, you're going through managers real fast. What's going on? But he came in 1967. He was followed by Warren Wilson and Larry Carell. And then some young Young guy, I was fairly young. Then in 1988, I became manager. So 49 years, four guys basically have managed the station. Scott, when you came all those years ago, I can't imagine you thought this is it. This is the ending point. But God has used you so <laughs> enormously here in Lima. Yes, I mean, you're you. at the fairs, you're at so many events. You're not just behind that radio microphone, which is so important. But you are out in the community. Um, you are allowing WTGN to be a community resource. Why? Why stay here for 38 years? Well, the Lord has kept me here. He called me here. I've always been willing to go wherever and whenever, but God has kept me here. And I've loved the people of Northwest Ohio. I genuinely care about people. I want to love on them, uh, share Jesus with them, make them laugh, hug them, pray with them, cry with them, whatever it may be. It's just God's placed me here. And I feel very privileged that he chose me to do what I'm doing. Well, we in West Central Ohio are very blessed that you would be willing to uh, be a servant. We all know that working for the Lord doesn't necessarily bring monetary riches or an easy life, but uh, the rewards are definitely incredible. Jesus said a man's life does not consist of the things that he possesses. And so, but uh, yeah, I feel very rich that God, God used me. And I hope he'll continue to use me until I take my last breath. Won't, we'll see how that plays out, I guess. All right. September 30th, 7 o'clock p.m. at the Veterans Civic Center. It's Ken Davis coming here to Lima, Ohio to help WTGN celebrate their 50th anniversary. So let's all get together and join together to celebrate as well. Encourage you to be purchasing tickets. You can call the Lima box office, the Civic Center, to get those tickets. Also want to remind you that we have a ministry uh, appreciation, pastor's appreciation breakfast, the Next day, mm -hmm. October 1st, Ken Davis has agreed to appear live at that as well. So if you are a pastor, pastor's wife, member of a uh, church worker, all of those things, those tickets are on sale as well. So thankful to WTGN 
for uh, arranging that so we can have Ken Davis for that. But September 30th, that's the big day for the WTGN 50th anniversary event. Of course, you can call them at the the uh, station 227-2525. And just like TV44, they are also a viewer supported radio station. And we are so thankful for the many of you that faithfully now and will continue to support them for the many, many years to come.